if you have watched the previous video where i go over how to chat with your csv data which was the back end portion so in this video let us go with the front end portion of that build so here what i've done is um, we've created this ui which lets you upload the csv data and let me just upload one it uploads the csv data it um, gives you a sample of what the data has it also shows the columns associated with the csv data and you can also select the type which you'd like and if i open my um, developer tools here and if i go to console and you can see we've converted the csv data so comma se separated values to objects which to json objects so email first name gender id last name review which is the same as here and each of them has the respective values so yeah so this is what we are going to build today hope you find this useful all right so i've got an empty vs code running here so i've installed it using npx create next app at latest i just uh, cleared all the code which you initially get and i also cleaned out the global.css so in here the first thing which we'll do is we'll install this package called react papa parts so let's copy that and install it right here so till that is being installed we can just go over the code on how to use this so i'll just copy all of this and paste it right here just to see what we get initially so in here yeah that's what we need and make sure i say it as use client um so because of how nextjs 13 works and let's run it and see so since this is just to sh demonstrate to you how we can convert the csv data into json um i'll just uh, use use client at the home page itself so yeah so we can just go to okay so i've already got a server running in this instance so let's go here and refresh it all right so now let us just see what we are console logging out here so if i go down here uh, in the csv reader we are console logging out the results so let's just upload a csv data and see what we get so let me click the browse file button here and let's go to downloads and mock data.csv let me just show you how this looks so okay i guess we can't i can't show you here let me just open my finder go to document uh, downloads and this is how it looks so we have uh, an id field first name last name email gender and review so if you saw the last video in which we used chat gpt to ask question based on this mock data it's the same one so we'll be using the same one here as well so let's upload this one so let me click browse file and let me go to mock data.csv and open it okay so right now it doesn't look the ui is not very um, elegant it looks a bit i mean it's not looking great so this is what we get we have an object and inside that object we have an array of data so if you if i open the first 0 to 99 the first um the first object of this array is the field name so the column name id first name last name email gender review so this is what we are working with now let us build on top of this so if i go back to vs code here let's um, start configuring it according to our needs so initially let's also have a state called use uh, let's call it csv data so this is where we will be saving all the csv data to the state here so let's just say it as any for now 
will be any and let us also import use state so let me go back here and say use state all right so from here if i go back to the cons um, the console you can see we have like, inside the object we have something called data so let us actually destructure that so inside the csv on upload accepted instead of getting the results let us destructure the data so data and let us say since we're using typescript let us just give it as any so yeah and here as well data so instead of console logging out this let us use set csv data and put in the data which csv reader gives us so if i save this now and let us try it once again let me console log out the csv data here csv data save it and let us see so it's undefined at the moment if i browse the file go back to mock dot mock data dot csv you can see now we are just getting the array of those data yeah so yeah, for this first 0 to 99 the first object is always the field all right so we're getting the csv data so now let us just style this a little bit so that it looks a little more appealing so let me just under return let's have a div here and let me take this and put it right under here all right so now if i save it and give it a class name of max w5 excel mx auto so if you don't want to see the styling you can just um forward the video but i'll just go through the stylings for now so pt20 so that'll put yeah cool so it'll because we gave a max width of 5 excel will never cross that so under that div we'll have another div let's say let's give a p saying this is csv upload with yeah that's fine uh, and under that let us have an h1 tag saying upload csv and let us give it a little bit styling here so class flex item center and give a tracking tracking of widest let me save that to show you all what's happening so you can see this tracking widest actually um, specifies a distance between the letters so since I've given widest you can see if I give let's say wide this is what we get so we want the like widest so let's go widest let me resize this so that you all can see it better so tracking widest and cursor pointer so whenever we go here it gives us a cursor pointer fine um let's I'll give a text blue of 500 nice um and this one will be mt4 of text 4xl and font of bold all right that's fine um next what we'll do is let us move on to the csv reader so inside the csv reader we have the this right here um a div with a style container and style let's see we can actually give a class name of mt4 and let us also give relative because we'll be putting something inside this container later so i've let's give a relative so in here instead of this we don't want that let us give us give it our own styling we'll make it a little more fancier so give um h of 300 pixels let's give 
flex flex call justify center and items center and let's give it w full border border dash and let's give a border of gray 800 let's save that and see what we are getting okay that's what we want now rounded md cool so we have this now so that looks great so instead of saying browse file let us have an icon so for icon there is this you all might be knowing of knowing of this package called react icons so let's install that and use their icon so in here let's just say upload yeah. okay so let's use this one right here so when you're using react icons what you have to do is if you want a particular um, icon you let me just show you how it works so then I mentioned react icons and give it the prefix here so as, as this is called BS cloud upload fill we give slash BS all right so if it is AI outline cloud upload you would give AI here all right so since we have that now we can actually render that out here so let's say BS fill um, cloud upload okay let me just copy that that would be way easier let's just copy this go back here and let me paste that right here we'll, it'll be a self-closing tag and let's see what we are getting here um let me refresh okay so it's a very small um icon here so let us go back here and just give a class name of oops class name of let's say 52 and w width of 52 and let's also give a text green 500 to change the color of it as well so let me, let's see how this looks okay that looks fantastic fine um so and let us do one more thing here so as you can see we have something called accepted file here so whenever i click here and uh, upload a certain file we should be getting the name of that file so in order to do that what we can do is let's have a ternary op operator here so um, csv reader gives us this neat little prop called accepted file so in there what we can do is we can render out a p tag um, and inside that we can say accepted file dot name with this we can get the name of the file we'll make it a font bold and we'll also have a text of xl so in here we can say if it's false what we can do is we can render out another icon called um bs fill no um i think i did something wrong here okay yeah we just got confused okay fine so if i save that now whenever there's a file so let, let's just show you that's the best way to for you all to understand what's going on so now if i open it so instead of the icon the name of the file is displayed here so that's what we are doing here so if it's true the na name comes up if it's false um we render out the icon okay so next thing what we'll do is let's have a cross button so if you want to clear out uh, whatever there is there inside um, the CSV reader we can do that so right now it's this remove um, button but let's take this and put it in here so in order to do that what we can do is um, let's have let's actually take this okay that's fine um, I think we don't need this yeah so let's save that yeah now it looks much better and let's put this icon right here so instead of remove what we can do is we can say <clears throat> we can ha we have another um, icon from react icons called gi cancel and 
will be a self closing tag and let's say class name of text red 500 and let, let us give a size of um let's say 30 cool and let's import that as well so import g i cancel from react icons slash g i cool so i think we should get that now um let's save that let me go here let's double check refresh this okay so now you can see we have the small icon so let's place this inside this container so in order to do that instead of giving this one you can just say class name absolute um let's say top two right two it should go inside yeah so that's the reason we gave relative here because then this uh, gi cancel can go inside the container so yeah so we have that we can i think we can change okay, i think the size is fine as well um last step is the this progress bar so right now if i again upload the csv file um here and click so it's here um let's have it inside the container so um let's give a class name of oops class name of sometimes the shortcuts don't work properly so absolute bottom of oh okay cool now let's see mock data okay that's completely wrong so i think the problem is right here so if i put the div down below because this is the container which has the relative so this absolute is now um it's bound by this container so let's see now um yeah let me just try this one and see okay so now we're getting it inside the container let's change the color to green so let's do that and now it should be green cool now that's also green so i think with that we have done all the styling uh, for the upload so now we can go ahead with the uh, actual implementation of the logic behind how we transform the csv data into json so now let's utilize ai to transform the csv data into json so let me show you how i would prompt um cheap gpt to um like answer my questions so what i would do is i initially paste my code um just the code and i say help me out with this code all right so once that's done it might give a brief description of what the code is about then i just specify right uh, in detail what i want so this is what i type write me a function to transform the csv state into a json with the first object is the keys and all the other attributes are the values so this is what the result was so you might not get what you're looking for initially but after like two or three tries um you might get exactly what you need so let me just paste in that function so this is the function which um chat gpt came up with so now let me use this and show you what we're getting so json formatted data is equal to transform csv data to json and i pass in the csv data so now if i console log out the values so let's say json formatted data so i'm getting an error here why is that let's just say any that would fix that fine cool now let's open this open our developer tools go to console and let me clear everything so that there's no doubt in what we are getting so now let's upload this and you can see right here now we are getting objects with email 
as a key first name gender id last name review and all those uh, other values are the uh, let me open my csv file so it should be in downloads mock data mock data cool so now if you see cool so now if if you can see uh, forgive me um yeah fine so now these the first row has become the keys and all these has become the values you can see it right here so now we can use this and send it to the back end so that's how we can send the csv data to json so now let's go a little further with the ui and actually display those um mm -hmm um the results over here so for that what we can do is let's go under csv reader and let's say if okay csv data dot length is greater than zero only then we will render out something so let's have a div we'll have a table uh, we can have a table header let's say column name and we can say we can also give the type same thing here and this is samples all right so now let's style this a little bit so class name of max w um 7xl mx auto and px of 24 padding and py of no let's give a pt of 20 cool so that's what's coming up then you can say class name of w full okay this should be in a tr so table row let's save the styling for later so now we have the column names so once that's done under the table we can have the t body So in here, what we can do is we can map over the columns. So in order to do that, let's go to CSV data. The zeroth, um, the first object, we can map over that. Let's say column name, and let's give a string, and let's say column index of number now we can map over this okay, let's see what the problem is here this should be in okay this should be another yeah now it's fine so in here let's have a tr so in under the tr we'll have a td of say the column name column name and I'll make sure to give it the key so the key will be column index for react and then we can give a TD here again with a select option Se select and we don't need none of this So inside that we can map over CSV data. The first object again dot map. So in inside this we'll have something called option name, which used to be a string, and also option index, which will be a number. So now we can we could do 
this yeah so i guess this should be it. cool if i save this i get an error because i probably messed up something okay cool so now i can save that and we get an error module failed fine okay so cool that works um let's just upload it and see what like how the ui looks I'll open that okay so it's like this it's pretty bad okay t body we'll fix that later um with some styling so under t select td we'll have the last td so in this i'll give a class name of let's say uh double no, okay i'll leave the class name for later because that will just take time now csv data um since this column will represent just a sample of what is there in each of the field let's use slice so we'll just take out some of the <clears throat> attributes of the um, column oh, sorry of the uh, table or csv data rather then dot map and inside that let's have something called entry which will be a string and we'll have a entry index which will be a number now in here okay, again we should i i don't know why i'm keep, i keep forgetting to add the string okay cool um then we can have this we we'll do that and we can just render out a p tag with <clears throat> entry and column index column index make sure I give it a key here because I believe it's complaining so entry index okay so with that I think we have everything so now you can see everything is like cluttered at the moment so we have uh, the column name we have the type so you can choose the type of field which you like and we also have um, the sample the first four samples so now what I'll do is I'll give it some styling and come back all right so this is the final UI how it looks after giving some styling so as you can see it gives us the column name and we can also select the type of um, what this column should be also we could and it shows us the first four samples of each of the columns yeah so this is the styling which I've given I'll link the repos repo down below so you can check it out so yeah this was it um, if you found this helpful let me know thanks for watching